Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness with that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customizations. And they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people are not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe. Or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share smart customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or paying those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, not let you be the judge, not respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos, which is how to add custom icons to product page on your Shopify store. Because I did post a video on how to add the trust badges, but people want to customize them. So in this video, I will show you how to add customizable icons and interactive to the product page on your Shopify store. And yes, by using your own custom code, and it's completely free again. And I did spend some valuable time to build this stuff and give it to you for free. So I would appreciate if you can hit that like button and leave me a comment, I would appreciate it. And I do reply to each comment, so I would reply to you. And that would motivate me actually to post more free stuff for you guys. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video I add smart customizations, but the video like 60 or 70, the team will be completely different. But now I think I've reached that level halfway. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Etsy, all in one place, or even this recent sales notification. Come on, show up, show up, show up. Here is recent sales notification on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. Yes, you heard that right, and this is exactly what you're seeing right now. Or even better, this is the mouse cursor, right? I will try to leave to close the page. Then this abandoned uh, cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out, and it's mouse uh, cursor trigger because it will detect when the user is trying to leave, then it will show up and remind them, hey, make sure to go check out and pay you the money he owes you, and yes, this is by using your own custom code, no applications involved. And yes, I will show you how to add custom icons to product page. <laughs> no worries. For example, if I scroll down, all everything you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything that you like and you think it looks good, just check out the channel because once it's here, it means it's already done. If I access the product, uh, this one has so many stuff. All this stuff again by using your own custom code. We will do again, and all of them are free actually. We will do demonstration uh, on another team, which is the new ones, Horizon. So we will close this Shopify store and we will access Horizon, which is this one right here. So we will do demonstration on this uh, Shopify team. So let's just get back to the team editor. Then we will click on customize for the team you are using. And this trick works on, or this code works on every Shopify team. No matter if it's paid or free, it works on all of them. And actually I just remembered something. I will provide you with two codes. One will show the custom icons on the specific products that you want, and the second one will show the custom icons on every product across all your Shopify store. So you can pick if you want to show the icons only on some specific products that you want, there is a, there is a code for that, and I will share that code with you completely free. And if you want to show the icons uh, on all your products, then I have a code for you as well and completely free. So let me switch in here uh, to the product page because obviously we need to add it to product page. And uh, let me switch to a cleaner product. This one has so much stuff. Uh, this one right here. So we will add the icons below this one. We will add them here and customizable. You can customize the icon picture and so on. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the this section where you want to add it. In my case, as I said, I want to add it here. So I'm going to click on the, this plus button and it will show me a bunch of blocks in here and simply search for custom liquid. And it will show you this right here. Click on custom liquid and it will show you again on the right panel this time, a section where you can paste in some code. And the first demonstration, I will do it on the code that will show the icons across all your products. The second demonstration, I will show you how to add the second code, which is uh, how to show 
witches will show the icons on specific products that you want. So as I said, first one, across all your products. The second thing you're going to do is scroll down the description box, you will see a link, my website, click on it, then it will take you to my website, then download a zip file, as I said, completely free, and the zip file will contain both files, I mean the ones for the specific products and the one across all your products, then let's just say you want to use, uh, you want to add icons across all your products, then open the file that's uh, named custom icons widgets that liquid. Open that file with any text editor on your computer, then simply paste in the code in here. That's very simple, right? I mean, after you copy, you open the code with text in it, copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. And here is, as you can see, this is the icons and is customizable. Let me actually uh, click on save so we can see how it looks like and preview them live so you can see. And here they are, as you can see, and they are interactive. Even the text is interactive. It shows the icons and the, it shows the line underneath them, sorry, and the icons are interactive. And yes, you can customize the icons and you can customize the text. And to do that, that's very simple. Just click in here, as you can see, this one is an image. If I open this link right here, let me open it, here it is. And here it is in here. So to change the icons, simply change the link for this image, as you can see, just make sure to keep them between the quotes. As you can see, there is a quotes here and there is a quote here. Make sure to paste in the link in between the quotes, otherwise it will not work. And the same for the icons. If I scroll up, as you can see, there is another picture, which is this one. This is for the easy return, as you can see, this one. And the same, there is the third one in here. So that's very obvious, right? And to change the text, that's very simple. Every picture link below it is a text option. I actually added some comments so you can see. Uh, in here, it says, it says uh, uh, change text here. And in here, it says replace icon link here with your uploaded image link. So it's very, very simple. As you can see, this one says free shipping. Uh, let's just change this to free delivery, maybe. Yeah, and it should change in here. Let's just keep it, here it is, as you can see, free delivery. So this is highly customizable. You can customize this however you want. You can change the icons, you can change the tags and everything else. Now let's just pass to the second one, which is only on some specific products that you want. And to do that, simply open the second file that says with tags. The same name, but has extra with tags. Open that file, it, uh, open that file with any text editor, sorry. Then copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. If I paste it in here, as you can see, uh, nothing will show up. Why? Because this one only works on some specific products. that you want, of course. <laughs> and how to set that product? That's very easy. Just click on save button first. And let's just get back in here. As you can see, this one will not show up anymore. As you can see, it will not show up. And to add it, let's just say we want to add the icons on this product. That's very easy. Get back in here and please uh, close the uh, team editor. Then on the search bar, search for that particular product. Uncore this one right here. Then click on it. And after you access the product that you want to show the icons on, simply head back to the tag section in here. Then simply add the tag icons. That's very simple, right? icons as you can see, then add the tag, then click on the save button, then just zoom out, click on the save button, and you can do this across all your product. Every product that has the tag icons, the badges will show up or the icons will show up. So let's just reload the page now. Uh, it will not show up, it will take a couple of seconds because of the browser cache. Reload the page again, and here they are as you can see. Now they show up, and you can customize this however you want, and if you wanna add the icons, on another product, simply add the same tag on another product. And that's how you add custom icons to product page on the product share you want or across all your products. I let you pick and choose. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.